This is a ball. It is currently in motion. Newton's first law of motion states that this ball will stay in motion until it is acted upon by an unbalanced force. An unbalanced force is a force that causes motion. A balanced force is when there is no motion. The force opposing the ball and which caused it to stop was Matthew's fat forehead. However, a ball doesn't need to come into contact with a solid object to stop. This ball is rolling on the ground. The reason that it stopped is because of an unbalanced force. In this case, the unbalanced force is called friction. Friction is always acting against objects that are moving. For this ball, there is rolling friction that is causing the ball to slow down and eventually come to a stop. In addition to friction, there is another invisible force acting against the ball. The force is called gravity and is what keeps the ball from flying into space. In this scenario, both gravity and friction are causing the ball to decelerate. This leads us to another topic, Mr. Newton's second law of motion. Newton's second law of motion states that objects with a larger mass accelerate slower than objects with a smaller mass. For example, this penny board holds a plump young man with a mass measuring about 900 kilograms. This penny board holding a small book has a mass of about 0.5 kilograms. In this example, both penny boards are experiencing about 5 newtons of force to both of them, which is the applied force. The penny board holding the small book accelerates faster than the penny board with a plump young man because the plump young man has more inertia. Inertia is an object's ten tendency to resist changes in motion. Before we tell you about the third law, let's have a word from our sponsor. Are your children playing with dicks, sporting goods? Well, that's great. If not, feel free to come on down to Dick Sporting Goods. Right here in Arizona, we have the world's <laughs> largest dicks. <laughs> Don't fact check that. We have the best deals and best products to ensure that when you come out of dicks, you'll feel good. Dicks, we know how to use balls. Thanks, De Desmond. Now back to the third law of motion. Third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This means that for every action force, which is the force acted on an object, there is a reaction force, which is the force that is equal in strength and opposite in the direction to the action force. So when this ball, with a force of 10 newtons, hits the wall, it must be met with a force of 10 newtons in the opposite direction. This concludes Isaac Newton's three laws of motion. Thanks for watching. Remember, this video is made possible by dicks. Are your children playing with dicks? <laughs>